Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I have a new uh, project to, or projects to share with you today and uh, it's uh, from the Little Darlings collection from Graphic 45 and uh, for this project I use both uh, the 8x8 and the 12x12 paper stack and I am so in love with uh, these papers from Graphic 45, it's uh, so much fun to fussy cut and so many uh, possibilities with it. So I think I will start to show you this uh, crib I made here. And um, yeah, I can tell you first I got uh, this ID from Rosemary457. She has made a beautiful uh, baby crib out of uh, Tim Holtz birdcage die and uh, I will post the link to her video below and uh, also Fiona has made one so uh, we'll post that as well. So here we go. Take some out of the way here. Um, yeah, if you see uh, here uh, this shape here I used this Tim Holtz on the edge die and it's the uh, black and postage uh, on the edge die. So uh, that is the shape on the top here. And I also made it rounded here. So it stands li like so but it can also... Oh, that's not far away, it's like so. But I cut uh, a bit down here so it will stand and uh, for the side I use the opposite uh, way of the die here and uh, for the curtains here I made some pleated uh, paper and uh, again I used clothing helmet uh, multi-mat to um, and before I folded it so uh, so it's easy to fold and uh, on the back here uh, I have some lace because I had to cover up the back it wasn't so nice under here because I had to use more than two papers to get it together back here so and I fussy cut a lot of butterflies and glue them on this ribbon here and uh, on the top here it's uh, I'm Rose's uh, petal that I uh, folded in um, in two or in half and I used the uh, Lindy spray I can show you here um, I used both the Jack in the pulpit teal and baby blue ice blue gold and I mixed them together in a little spray bottle like so and uh, also put some more water in so it will be lighter so, and on the back here if you see behind this flower it's a um, uh, metal butterfly from Graphic 45 and I painted it white and it's some lace behind there and some pearls and feathers here so turn it around this way. This is supposed to stand like here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is the one I made in a tutorial. So I thought this fit great in here in the bed. And um, yeah, it's a little book here, a little storybook. I have to read for small children before they go to sleep. I can play some pictures here. And the die behind here it says baby and uh, that is from Mariana design and it comes like um, these two pieces here and this is really great die I think and, uh, there's a little baby sleeping here and uh, it's actually uh, actual a mini album so I will show this uh, mini album in the next uh, video. So that was the baby crib. Yeah, and uh, also 
here I created a dangle and I used the Carla's flower, no, <laughs> birds down here that I also painted uh, with the white and the same colors from Lindy's. And inside here I uh, sewed um, yeah, some fabric and glued it on here because I didn't want the images in the inside of the paper to show up. So, yeah, that's the crib. And I also created a little music box here. Uh, I got this wrong for, for the piano box I made. So it was Linda who told me, Linda at the Live Art Now, that I could use it in this project. So I did. <laughs> and this is working, like so. So this was really fun to make and um, it's uh, actually a photo cube and uh, this idea I got from Cinti Lahu, Cynthia, Cynthia. <laughs> and she has made a, um, a photo cube that stands up on each other, a really cute one and I will post the link to that as well. And now I see I have been out on frame, so I'll show you one more time. And then um, inside here there are some mats that can be taken out so I can place a photo behind on three of the sides. Like so. And then um, here I used the Spellbinders die uh, label uh, number one to cut out this frame here. And I also backed it um, with some hinges behind here so it could slide easily in the photos. And I made some flowers from the paper. Uh, it shows up. And now a shipboard piece. This goes with the paper and the little book. It's reading for the little bear here. And these bears were brown. So I painted them uh, white. It uh, took a lot of paint to get them white. But uh, I think they came out alright. So this is the box. And uh, here is a little baby powder. This is made from a box like this with pepper inside. So I got some help to paint it on the bottom and top. It's spray painted and uh, it's actually powder inside here. And I used the several layers of uh, multi mat around here so it will last. And uh, yeah, I'll show you this card. It's a tree shooter card. And it goes like so. And it opens like so. And uh, this I filmed uh, when I made it, so there will be a tutorial on how you can make this if you haven't tried it before. So. And the last piece here is a clock. And this uh, clock and uh, a frame here I got from Fiona. So thank you so much, Fiona. It was really great to use for this project here. And um, yeah, this is how it looks on the back. Used a lot of lasers here. And uh, I fussy cut some images around here from the post uh, stamps and uh, here is uh, um, Spellbinders style and now I can't remember the name of it but uh, I will post it below and uh, I am Rosa's petal in here and I also colored these and uh, this boys uh, he would go upside down if he goes around, so I created a little so he will turn and some, uh, um, yeah, what shall I call it, some heavy thing in the bottom here. 
so when the clock goes down here he follows all the way so he will stand on the right side and uh, yeah some pleated uh, taper around here as well and uh, if you see this uh, flowers on the top here it's made from uh, ribbons and here are three small uh, tiny flowers and uh, this I learned from many years ago how to do so I will show it to you how to make it in the end of the video so this is my project and it was really fun to make and um, yeah I can show you these templates here I made some templates from the die and um, I will post uh, this on my blog S a picture of them so you can uh, download the picture if you want to create one yourself and I have asked uh, Tim Holtz uh, if it was okay to do that and he says that's fine so it's a really fun project to make and I also for this uh, cube I um, will post the measurements and uh, how I put it together on my blog and I will post the link to that below so now maybe I can show you how to make uh, this flower I just have to adjust my camera a bit so I'll be back so I'm going to use this uh, seam binding but you can use any type of uh, soft ribbon you like to so we will start by folding it over like so and we fold this over and this over the other side and you don't have to be precise here just fold it so you can fold it as many times that you, as you want uh, the more you fold you uh, uh, the bigger your flower will be Oh, you see I'm not precise here just fold oh. well I haven't counted but I use uh, uh, between um, 12 and 20 depends on how large I want it to be <coughs> excuse me so I think we that's enough and now it should look like this and now you take the longest strip you have and start pulling like so I hope you can see this I have created a beautiful rose and um, you maybe can use your glue gun but I like to sew it together so I take my needle inside like so and go a couple of times and then fasten it sorry for the noise in the background it's uh, my neighbor is cutting the grass We have a lovely weather and summer here in Norway now and it's just beautiful. So can cut this off. And you can leave a bit of it here if you want to. So now the rose is ready to be used. Looks like so. Or you can cut it out, um, off here if you like to glue it down only like so. And you can also work a bit with it and shape it and sew it a bit more. 
So I hope this was helpful and that you will try it. And uh, maybe many of you know how to do this already. So, and I want to thank you all so much for watching. And uh, I also want to thank you all for your lovely comments you give me. Uh, on my last uh, video I got uh, over a hundred comments. Uh, it was uh, the piano box in one day and I so appreciate it all. Um, so uh, I want to thank you all now for uh, stopping by and leaving comments. And um, even if I don't answer you all you shall know that I really appreciate it. So thank you so much and uh, I wish you, wish you a happy and uh, a great day and uh, hope you have fun creating. Bye bye.